For nearly a year, there has been an ADHD medication shortage in the U.S. The two popular Adderall alter alternatives, Ritalin and Concerta, are also hard to come by. Some University of Mary, Mary students say their grades are suffering as a result. Elizabeth Shores reports. For example, your friend was Ethan Bowers was diagnosed with ADHD when he was in kindergarten. He'd never taken medication for it growing up, but a couple of years after he enrolled in the University of Mary to study theology and philosophy in 2019, he decided a prescription might help him focus on his studies. He visited the university's clinic to get a script, but instead, they said he also had anxiety and depression, which would require a specialist visit before he could receive any medication. My last semester was just, it was, it was hell because I was, doing, I, was trying to, I was trying to keep my grades up, I was trying to do something about that while also trying to uh, keep up, uh, while tr also trying to figure out like all the ADHD, ADHD stuff. Bauer says by that point, the university told him he needed to take a break, so he dropped out during his junior year. Since then, he's had a couple of different hands-on jobs, which he says he's well suited for and has found happiness in. However, students who have wrapped up their identity with school might have a more difficult time going without meds and find it hard to focus. It's not that they're choosing not to, it's just they, they can't. So we're looking at the difference between a child being able to meet expectations throughout their entire day versus not and feeling like their bodies are out of their control. Dr. Cole Hayes says her patients who have been unable to get their normal medication tend to become depressed and anxious because they'd been used to being able to focus before. Both she and Bowers say ADHD is often accompanied by anxiety and depression. For those who are unable to get their scripts filled, both suggest managing what you can until then by attending therapy and learning coping skills for anxiety and depression. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores, reporting for Your News Leader.